They've decided to move on to future get-aheads. And we're in a current LOS, or loss of signal. These are tracked and uh, expected throughout the spacewalk, and we will regain video communications with our astronauts shortly. Bolt four, two turns. Copy, two turns, bolt four. Two turns, bolt two. Okay, two turns, bolt two. Uh, Keeping the same settings, Bravo seven, counterclockwise one. We're going to release them ten additional turns. Here you've got a view of Victor Glover and then his view on the right side of your screen. Making his way to his next work site. Meanwhile, NASA astronaut Mike Hopkins continues removal of the bolts on the H fixture. Another handover period of the tracking data and relay satellite systems. Okay, former, I've got the width extender. Copy that, Ike. You're going to translate out to the uh, port CETA cart. Uh, looking for a width three. And some other acronyms you just heard. Uh, Victor Glover, also known as his call sign Ike, is heading out to the Port CETA cart. That stands for Crew Equipment and Translation Aid. He'll be working with the WIF or the worksite interface and preparing the area for an another upcoming spacewalk. Four released with seven turns, two released with eight turns. Copy seven turns on bolt four, eight turns on bolt two. All right, just uh, verify all four of the bolts are released. If you need to, uh, you can use your fingers to uh, continue releasing them. Roger. I'm headed up to Cedar Spur. Roger. And copy that, Ike. And uh, obviously, worth us doing the get aheads, uh, please keep an eye on the safety tethers uh, as we move starboard. Roger. Hopkins, I'm Ike. Just got a It's good. We're clear. Little farmer. Yes, sir. I can't get my fingers in there to remove one and copy that. Say, Stand by one. Yeah, it's just it's, it's fingers, but it's hard to get your finger inside these. If you remember on that H fixture, bolts go down into a. Okay, I did get one. I'm working uh, three now. And when they're released, they should pop out. So uh, I, I don't know if that, if you can tell that at all while they're while you're messing with it. Okay, all four released. 
copy all four are released. Uh, so you can retrieve the uh, wedge assembly if that's what you want to do again and uh, put them in the H fixture channel. Yes. That's what I want to do. This view from Mike Hopkins' helmet camera. He just removed the H fixture that was removed from the station earlier, and he's now working to remove the second of the day, a get ahead task, since all others have been completed. Copy that, Ike. Uh, once you get up to WIF 3, you're going to put the WIF X in uh, settings of 7 Alpha 1. 7 Alpha 1. Okay. Seven clocking the seven would have it pointing uh, like Nader and, and Robert. Is that what you have in mind? Should be Nader and Port. Okay, if I put it at seven, I think. All right, let me just try it and see. Okay, yep, you're right. Putting Nader in port. Now toward the bottom center of the seat of cart. Okay, seven alpha are set. Full twist test. It is locked, black on black. Okay, copy that, Ike. Uh, and then next you're going to retrieve the APFR that's there on uh, the CETA cart WIF 2, and you're going to install that into the WIFX. H fixture is released. Nice work. You're the uh, H fixture black belt. It's a wedge tool. Hey, Farmer, um, I'm having a hard time getting to the uh, indication on the one versus two. Can you just tell me is that with a collapse or is it extended? That one should be fully collapsed. That is seven alpha one set. Seven the APFR. Copy. Good words. Yeah, and go ahead, Ike. Uh, yeah, farmer, you want a full tool in? Yeah, sorry. Uh, if, if we can get a uh, um, some pictures of the GSE pad uh, before you leave. Will do. And do you need a full inventory of the bag? Uh, yes, please. We would like a, an inventory of the bag. Roger. On the integral rip, I've got an adjustable. Back you good for me to go ahead and do this. Uh, give me the uh, APFR settings for me, and then you got it. Okay, Ike, your APFR settings are going to be 12 Sierra Sierra Sierra, Sierra Golf 3. And uh, Hopper, if you stand by on that inventory for a second. Hopper, if you stand by on that inventory for a second. Cool. Copy.
Four hours and 25 minutes into today's spacewalk, Mike Hopkins has successfully removed another H fixture. Pad, and then you can just leave that out. We're going to do um, uh, the next task is a photo task, uh, and then we'll do the inventory after that. Roger. Okay, farmer clock to 12, good pull and twist test, black on black. Good words. Hello, Sierra, Sierra, Golf 3. Hey, firm. Farmer, I need to go ahead and do some of this inventory and get some of this stuff back in the bag. Okay, that's fine. We're ready to copy. Okay. All right. I've got a snuggle red to an adjustable to a hammer and a, I can't remember. PRS, what is this, PRS? BRS, a firm. Pin tool and chief. Yeah. Then I got an integral to a um, wet, or, um, pry bar, and that's going. The integral is going to adjustable to the pry bar, and then the other end is empty. And that one. I've got an adjustable, got a second adjustable that has an H fixture. Got a small, small rep with the camera. Got an integral with the wedge assembly. I've got an integral with the adjustable and two pliers. I've got a small, small with an adjustable and a combo wrench and an H fixture. And I think that's it. And then on the outside, I've got uh, an adjustable. Hey, yeah, that's a good inventory hopper. Okay, Farmer 12 Sierra, Sierra Golf 3, and that APFR has a really sticky pitch knob. Okay, copy that. Uh, confirm that it uh, you were able to get it to pop back out after you set. Confirm. Okay, copy that. That's a, a good install. You can go ahead and head back towards the airlock. Uh, your next task is going to be to relocate the OI with. It works. And Hopper, while you're buttoning that thing up, uh, game plan for you is to do uh, some of the photo ops on the mini pump module on uh, P1.
Right, farmer, I am Tully, the OI with. Okay, copy that. Uh, just confirm we're on the forward side of the uh, equipment lock. Confirm at airlock with three. Okay, good words. Uh, you can ret to the tether points and um, lift the two tabs and slide the OI whiff off. Uh, it slides away from the tether point. Copy, inboard. Now over four hours and 31 minutes into today's spacewalk, which began at 6.56 a.m. Central Time this morning. The astronauts have completed all of their major tasks and moved on to get-aheads, of which Mike Hopkins has completed another H fixture removal, preparing the station for future power upgrades. And Victor Glover has completed work on an APFR, or an articulating portable foot restraint, preparing the station for future spacewalks. I have the OI with on my workstation. Heading to the aft end of the equipment lock. Okay, good words. Uh, just a landmark for you uh, as you go around the wagon wheel and come up the aft side. Uh, handrail 0510 is when you want to start moving port. 0510, start port. And Hopper, when you get a chance, a glove and half check, please. Okay. All right, crew lock bag one is on my VRT. We've got another handover between the tracking data and relay satellite system, and we will regain communications and video with the crew shortly. In the meantime, a look back at all that has been accomplished in the last four hours and 34 minutes. NASA astronauts Mike Hopkins and Victor Glover secured the final lithium-ion battery to the International Space Station and installed the final adapter plate completing its circuit. Copy that, and we just got good words on a good uh, pan and tilt test for CP13, so three for three on the cameras today. Nice work. That's awesome. Thank you. News, thank you. Right, Farmer, I'm in the vicinity. I see uh, with locations five and six. Okay, okay stand by one second. I Hopkins then moved on to remove an H fixture, preparing the station for future power upgrades before the duo moved on to complete CP3 camera installation and HD camera aboard the starboard truss. Translate back, uh, we're going to need you to check the uh, brakes on the CETA cart. And then the next task for the uh, MPM is going to be out at uh, the uh, S0P1 uh, base 6 bulkhead. Okay. Let's do the, uh, we'll get the CETA carts first, and then we'll the other items. Roger that. Big picture, you're just heading over towards P1. Roger. Okay, Ike, uh, looks like you slid, uh, I see the OI whiff on there. We're looking for uh, whiff six. Uh, you're going to slide it onto the fitting and then verify that the two tabs are down and look for a pull test. Sure. 
The team also completed Japanese robotic arm camera replacement and installed an upgraded camera outside the U.S. lab, which Bob Hines just relayed his checked out well and performing as expected. This view from Mike Hopkins' helmet camera, giving you a glimpse at those batteries aboard the International Space Station. How you guys are feeling? Super, super. Hi, Navy. That means good. Okay, farmer, gloves still look good on my left and pinky. The uh, RTV, the bottom digit. A little bit of peeling, the same, about an eighth of an inch, maybe a quarter of an inch, and an eighth of an inch worth of it peeling up. Most of it's still connected, and the fabric underneath is good to go. Other than that, no change, my half is dry. Copy. Copy that. And that left uh, finger, is that, uh, is that changed from earlier, or is that pretty much the same? Uh, the earlier one was my right pinky, same place on my right and left pinky. The earlier one was right. This one is left. Copy that. Good words. All right, Ike, uh, next task for you, we're going to do the uh, magnetic plate R&R &R at the airlock there. So you can uh, head back, uh, open the thermal cover, and you're going to retrieve the uh, crew lock bag for the airlock task. Me too. Hey, Farmer, I come in board of the Sarge. Please. Copy that, Hopper. And Hopper, you're going to continue port. You're looking for mile marker 8420. 8420. Roger, coming up on the starboard seat of code. And my green hook. And Ike, when you get into the airlock, it's going to be crew lock bag three. Copy, crew lock bag three. Thermal cover is coming open. Alright, farmer, I got my green reel back. My green uh, hook. Copy that. Okay, hey, farmer, I've got the uh, crew lock bag number three. Okay, uh, you can secure that bag to the uh, airlock handrail right near the hatchway uh, with an adjustable. Uh, just make sure that the doors are pointing towards the hatchway. Speed of car, brake pedal, release, two pushes.
see that hopper. I heard you. Roger. No, sorry, we didn't hear anything, Hopper. Was that for us? Yep, I was just telling you, Starboard, see the cart. Brake handle was pushed twice. Copy that, thanks. You bet. Hey, Farmer, I have the bag. Okay, uh, out of the bag, you're going to retrieve the IV wrench and secure it to the old magnetic plate. So just let the magnet pull the, pull the wrench. Yeah, the magnet's not very strong, and the force of the red is actually pulling it off. I locked the red out, but that magnetic force is not very strong. Copy, stand by one. Let's see the car two pushes on the brakes. Astronauts Mike Hopkins and Victor Glover have been on their spacewalk now for four hours and 43 minutes. They have moved into get ahead tasks after completing all of their major scheduled tasks for today. Uh, I'll keep an eye on it. I'll go slow and I'll just make sure to tend to it. So I, I, it is weak. It's not as strong as the one that's in the bag is the new magnetic plate. But uh, I'll keep that in mind. But I'm ready to take it off if you are. Okay, copy that. Uh, it's just a warning. Remember, the Zeus fasteners could have sharp edges. Uh, and as you're looking at it, note the position of the fastener alignment markings. Copy. Kind of points towards the center of the hatch opening. Copy. Good words. Uh, retrieve the T-handle tool, and you can release both Zeus fasteners. It's going to be counterclockwise, a quarter turn only. That's the release position I was giving you. They release the point toward the center of the hatchway. Okay, I've got the plate in hand. The wrench is still held to it. They're both going in the bag. NASA astronaut Victor Glover, you can see his helmet camera view on the right-hand side is at the airlock. I retrieve the new magnetic plate. Uh, also being careful with that one. Lock out the RET as needed to alle alleviate the side loads. Glover is working to remove and replace a magnetic plate that helps the thermal cover, which you can see open at the airlock, it helps the thermal cover stay in place. We're in a satellite handover, and we'll regain communications and video with the crew shortly. But currently, you're looking at the inside of Mission Control Houston at NASA's Johnson Space Center. This room is staffed 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year, as all of the flight controllers manage, maintain, and help improve the systems aboard the International Space Station. Magnetic plate is aligned. Okay, hoppers at basics. Copy that. Stand by one. Uh, Pike, uh, for the uh, Zeus fasteners here, you're going to go clockwise slowly until the Zeus fastener drops in. 
and then you're going to go clockwise to uh, a quarter turn to fasten it. Me too. We're in another satellite handover as NASA astronaut Victor Glover, or as you'll hear him referred to as Ike, which is his call sign, is at the airlock and working to remove and replace a magnetic plate that helps the thermal cover stay closed. Fastener one is installed. Copy that. Fastener two is installed. The full test, both sides are solid. Copy that. Sounds like a good install. Nice work. And when you get a chance, give a good pull test uh, using the tether point, and then we'll take an inventory of the crew lock back. Good pull test using the tether point. Let me grab the red off of it, and then I'll give you the inventory. Got pictures that you want, the uh, farmer? Yeah, sure. Uh, confirm you're at base six. Uh, on the S0P1. Affirmative. Okay, uh, we're going to be photographing uh, the just zenith of the DDCU 3 Bravo. We're looking for the MBA connectors and panel and the surrounding structure. Uh, it's basically in the zenith. Zenith of DDCU. That's good words. It's the uh, zenith port quadrant of basics. See a nitrogen tank. Okay, you might have uh, you might be one bay one bay too far. So go back to the next um, bulkhead further starboard, and the DDCU should be there. And the connectors we're trying to get are just above that DDCU. Was that mile marker we gave you too far along? Mile marker we gave you too far along. I think it might have been. That's okay. Okay, sorry about that. Are you ready for the inventory? Okay, copy that, Ike. Uh, we're ready, and since you only opened half of the uh, bag, we only need the inventory on that side. Uh, okay, but I stuck the uh, wrench, I stuck the IV wrench and the magnetic plate on the other side to keep it in, uh, you know, with a closed door while I was doing the other one. So they're on the other side, and on uh, the side I used, I have a ret to the T handle tool, and then an empty ret. And that's it. Okay, uh, and I think you said that they may have been on the other side, but the IVA wrench and the magnetic plate are both in there too. They are on the other side, but yes. Copy that, that's a good inventory. Okay, I'm at the Fort Zenith, right above the DCU. Yeah, it looks like the right spot up there. So we're basically looking for uh, good imagery of those connectors and the surrounding structure that are just uh, just zenith of the DDCU. Roger. And if you see TA clamps or P clamps, those are the kinds of things we're also trying to get in the picture. 
Roger. This view from helmet camera of NASA astronaut Victor Glover, who has just completed a removal and replacement of an airlock magnet. This new magnet will help keep the thermal cover on the airlock closed. And Ike, uh, just confirm that your PGT currently has a six inch wobble on it. Confirmed, that is correct. Okay, copy that. Uh, hey, Farmer, any other pictures? A firm, Hopper, standby one second. Actually, uh, if you want to go ahead and translate uh, one bay, I guess it might be two bays over, bay 10, mile marker 8820, uh, should be right near the pump module. And how are you feeling, Hopper, or uh, Ike? Our Navy. It's unclear. Is that good or bad? Well, what do you think, Farmer? Well, what do you uh, think, Farmer? Funny, funny. Yeah, uh, Hopper, so we're looking at the uh, the port side of the pump module. Uh, we've got uh, some more photos there. Um, there's the MLI attachment and then no, bay, no, bay 10 overview. Yeah, no, I copy that. I'm just saying, what are you guys thinking from uh, the get ahead? Because so we had a good day. Yep, totally agree. There are three more uh, photo sites that are kind of in line here, just along face one, um, that would be part of this get ahead uh, that you're doing. Uh, and then for Ike, we are going to send him out to do the uh, MMOD uh, bolt release out at uh, P4. Why don't we take these pictures and let's call it a day? Okay, that sounds like uh, sounds like a good plan. Okay, I'm at uh, day ten. Copy that, Hopper. Okay, copy that, uh, Ike. Or sorry, Hopper, uh, you're at the bay ten. Uh, should be around mile marker eight eight two zero. Okay, and basically we're just looking for a photo of the MLI attachment points along the MPM. Along the MPM. Along the pump module. Yeah, so if you just get uh, just port of the pump module and then take the picture as you're looking aft and starboard along that side of the pump module. And uh, Ike, we're just going to hold you in position if you want to maybe take a look in the airlock and make sure that uh, things are tidied up. Tidy is not a use I would just, uh, not a word I'd use to describe the airlock right now. <laughs> copy that. And I'm do what I can. Copy that. And uh, no hurry if you want to hang out and relax too. That's fine.
I can put some of these bungees to use. Yeah, I tried with uh, with the WDE. Yeah. I don't know if it's still there. Four hours and 57 minutes into today's spacewalk, and the International Space Station is flying 265 statute miles over the southern coast of Ireland. This view is from the helmet camera of NASA astronaut Victor Glover on his second spacewalk today. Okay, that's this is the helmet camera of Mike Hopkins. My apologies. He is taking photos of the external uh, portions of the space station to document its current state. Meanwhile, Victor Glover is at the airlock, having just wrapped up a removal and replacement of an airlock magnet to help the thermal cover stay in place. These were both get-ahead tasks on today's timeline, have the astronauts having completed all of their major tasks, moving swiftly and ahead of schedule the entire time. Okay. I've opened up the middle as much as I can. That uh, my God. The, the medium or you guys is looking pretty good. The uh, the ETBCG is uh, it's gonna make it a little challenging. You got it up uh, forward against the the hatch. It is aft and against the hatch. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. And I'm hanging out in my usual place. Aft. All right, top of the fuse, sir. See ya. Enjoying the views? Enjoying the views. Both of our astronaut come both of our astronauts coming into frame now. In the left, you can see Mike Hopkins with the red stripes around his spacesuit, who was EV1 or extravehicular crew member one for today's spacewalk, his fourth. And on the right is Victor Glover on his second spacewalk. are both at the airlock, and I think it's time. I'm going to take one last look around, watch the uh, sunset. Beautiful view. All right. Yeah, enjoy the view. You guys did a great job today. You guys rocked it. 
Uh, when you get a chance, if someone can take a look at the uh, airlock hatch pit pin uh, before we start ingressing. Roger. I can see him easy. Okay, Ike. My waist tether is to the B ring in the airlock. Tail closed, slider lock, black on black. Got a good pull test. And let me put my screw lock bag inside. Happy. Thank you. We're experiencing another satellite handover as the astronauts prepare to ingress or enter the airlock following today's spacewalk. The spacewalk itself won't be considered complete until repressurization of the airlock begins. Okay, EV-1 is in the airlock, and I am transitioning to Hopper and EV-2. EV-1 for ingress, Ike copies. And uh, confirm, so you've got a good safety tether chain for your waist tether? I do, but just let me get a double check on it. That's affirmative. Airlock being ring extender, bell close, side lock, black on black, good pull test. Copy that. My waist tether, small hook is locked to my right being ring extender. Big hook is locked to your safety tether anchor hook. Eight close, lock, black on black. I've got your safety tether anchor hook. Off the handrail, locked to my hook, black on black. Good pull test between the two. That is now my chain. Isn't that in the airlock? And I will grab my safety tether anchor bolt hook off the forward starboard. Roger. And whenever you're ready, I will come on in. Come on in, I. Well. I've got the camera group. It is on the aft side, but I've got it held low. Okay. If you're able to come up high.
Thank you. All right, nice job on the ingress. Uh, when you guys are ready, uh, you can remove the SDUs from the sewage pouches and uh, install, and install them on your DCM. Roger. Okay, thermal cover is closed. Bring my feet up a little bit more. Uh, yeah, if there's you hitting it. Um, you want me to pull it down? down? Maybe I'm hitting something else. There you go. How about that? That's about as low as I can get the light camera group. How's that feel? Okay. Uh, I think I'm gonna need to come further out. Okay. Further I think I can work it from here. I think I can work it from here. I can probably get you a little more room. When it's time to close the hatch, I may need to go a little more, a little more port. After. Okay. Right here, you say put the DCM or SU DCM. Yes. Okay. UV one in work. UV two in work. NASA astronauts Mike Hopkins and Victor Glover are back inside the crew lock portion of the Quest airlock with the thermal cover closed. More than a five inch gap anywhere on the thermal cover. It looks good. I don't see any gaps from my perspective. Copy that. Thank you. Okay, UD1 SCU to DCM, locked, full test. And by for UD2. This view of JAXA astronaut, Japanese Aerospace Exploration Agency, Soichi Noguchi, and NASA astronaut Kate Rubens. These two were maneuvering the Canada Arm 2 from inside the International Space Station today and helping Victor Glover reach where he needed to be on his various work sites. And Hopper confirmed uh, your SCU is connected. Not yet. Copy. Okay, UB2. That's the use connected. Okay, copy that. Uh, reminder a TCV setting of 8 will minimize the SU cooling time. And with that, you guys can switch water to off. Expect your H2O is off message. UV1, water off. UV2, water off. Copy that. That starts our two-minute timer before closing the hatch. Roger. Rubens and Noguchi in your screen now are standing by to help the astronauts out of their suits after depressurization of the crew lock portion of the Quest airlock. The start of depressurization will mark the end of the spacewalk, but will be on the air until the astronauts remove their helmets. Before I move the hatch, it's, there's a lot of stuff in here. It wants to go everywhere. Shall be all. Okay, Palmer, now I'm seeing a little bit of a gap in the thermal cover, but it's maybe two inches on the forward side. Doing a little potato chipping. Copy 
Copy that. That's a uh, good config. Okay, that's the completion of the two-minute timer. Uh, again, verifying the hatchway is clear, um, and verify also that the handle position is per the hatch decal, then you can close the hatch. All right, I'm going to need to come down your way a little bit, Roger. Yeah, I'm uh, forward as I can get, stand by, I can give you maybe a little more about that. Perfect. Five hours and 15 minutes into today's spacewalk and Victor Glover working to close the hatch. I'm gonna need to go down a little bit more. My foot's covering something. Okay. The left foot. Ah, uh, perfect. Thank Whatever you, you just did, that did it. Thank you. All right. They're closing decal. There is not. Interesting. Or at least I didn't see it, yeah. Okay, so last. I'll put, put it in the lock before you move it. Oh, no. Once you put it in the lock position, or the uh, last position, I put it in lock. Yep. Copy. Okay, going counterclockwise. Latched and locked. Sweet. Full test. Batch is closed. And that is closed. Copy that. Hatch closed and locked. Uh, with that, Hopper, uh, you can switch uh, on the UIA oxygen for EMU 1 and 2 to open. And that's a check. Oxygen EMU 1 and 2 are already open. Yep, good call. Uh, next switch, power EV1 and 2 to on. Power EV1 and 2. Power EV1 is on with a good light. Volts 18.6. Power EV2 is on with a good light. Volts 18.6. Good words. Uh, on your DCM, switch power to SCU. Expect a warning tone. Well, 
one power SCU. DB two power SCU. The Quest airlock hatch is now closed as the astronauts prepare for repressurization. Okay, with that, uh, over to you, Soichi, to continue with uh, crew lock repress on the uh, repress cue card. Copy, Farmer. Thanks for your help. And uh, EP1, EP2 uh, are ready for the crew, crew lock repress. We are ready. ready. EP1, EP2, set all two actuator to press. Oh, EV1. EV2, press. Copy. And uh, the number two check the EV hatch MPF closed. MPF closed. Okay, check. Great. Okay, now uh, we are starting to uh, uh, repress uh, IV hatch equalization valve throttle off to norm, and we'll keep it very, very slow. If you guys are ready, we're starting the repress. EV1, EV2. Houston Station, uh, we press start at uh, 0617. Houston, copy, 0617. And the EP1, EP2, expect alert town. EP1, 2. And the EP1, EP2, how do you like the, the rate of repress? For EV2, sorry, Ike. Good job. No worries. Copy, good break. We'll keep it slow. The beginning of repressurization marks the official end of the spacewalk at 12.15 p.m. Central Time bringing today's total to a five hour and 19 minute spacewalk beginning at 6.56 a.m. Central Time this morning. Today's spacewalk, which started at 6.56 a.m. Central Time, has now completed, wrapping up at 12.16 p.m. Central Time, marking a five-hour and 20-minute spacewalk for Mike Hopkins and Victor Glover. Repressurization continues in the crew lock portion of the Quest airlock. Meanwhile, this view from the equipment lock side, you have Soichi Noguchi and Kate Rubens stepping the astronauts through their procedures. EV1. Over to, over to Hopper. Uh, yeah, you can increase a little bit. Okay, we're well, slightly increase the rate. Okay, rate increase. How do you like the speed? EV1, EV2. EV1's good to go. EV2 is good.
maybe on you to the next section is when the cool got the 4.0, uh, you will hear the left tone. And the cool got 5, we will uh, close the equalization valve to off. And you guys expect another left tone. I'll copy. TV1. Thank you. Thank you. As repressurization continues, a look back at what the astronauts accomplished on today's spacewalk. Mike Hopkins and Victor Glover completed the battery replacement work that began in January 2017 by securing the final lithium ion battery to the International Space Station and installing the final adapter plate that completes the power circuit. They also drilled one bolt to secure the DCSU or the direct current switching unit before Mike Hopkins moved to remove an H fixture which helps prepare the space station for future power upgrades. Victor Glover moved on to a CP3 HD camera installation on the starboard truss. And Mike Hopkins completed the Japanese experiment module remote manipulator system upgrade for a new camera there as well. The duo worked together to complete an upgrade for a CP13 HD camera installed outside the US lab and that completed the major tasks for the day, so they moved on to get-aheads. Mike Hopkins completed an additional H fixture removal. Meanwhile, Victor Glover worked on an articulating portable foot restraint, helping configure that for a future spacewalk. Glover also removed and replaced an airlock magnet that will help the thermal cover stay in place and Hopkins took photos of the exterior of the space station to document its current state. That brought us to a five hour and 20 minute spacewalk. EV1, EV2, uh, how do you like the rate? Okay, if you wanna go up a little. EV2, EV2. Oh, so EV2, you're good with uh, going up? Yep. Thank you. Increasing. And uh, repress rate increased.
with the completion of today's spacewalk, we have a look at the updated numbers. It was the 234th spacewalk in support of space station assembly, maintenance, and upgrades. It was the second spacewalk conducted this year and the third for Expedition 64, one of those being conducted out of the Poisk module and two out of the Quest module, which you saw today. This was the fourth spacewalk of Hopkins' career for a total of 25 hours and 14 minutes. It was the spa second spacewalk of Glover's career for a total of 12 hours and 16 minutes. Today's spacewalk lasted five hours. And of the 234 spacewalks that have occurred in support of station assembly maintenance and upgrades, totals 61 days, seven hours, and seven minutes of spacewalking time. AV-182, uh, how do you like the, the rate? AV-1, good. AV-2 is good. If you need to go up a little bit, I'm okay, Ike, if you want. Same. Copy. You assume it'll be a 4.0, so we're looking for the 5.0. AV-1. Do we increase Two. the rate? Yeah. Yes. All right, I see 4.0 AV-2. Copy 4.0. We'll stop for 5 hours. We're in a satellite handover with the International Space Station. The spacewalk having wrapped up at 5, at 12.16 p.m. Central Time and lasting five hours and 20 minutes. Repressurization continues in the crew lock portion of the Quest airlock. I see 5.0. EV1, EV2, uh, ID hatch equalization valve is off and now we're starting two minute timer. Roger that, and I show 5.1 as the final. I'll be 5.1. EV1.
Soichi Noguchi of JAXA and Kate Rubens of NASA monitoring the repressurization of the crew lock portion of the Quest airlock. Again, today's spacewalk lasting five hours and 20 minutes. Houston Station, the P1 is 2.48. I need one more minute for P2. Houston copies and concurs. Drew from uh, ED1, just want to say thanks to the entire ISS Upgrades 2 team, um, Farmer and Vincent and everybody else that uh, worked this one well done. Sorry we got out a little late, but I uh, think we had a very, very, very good day. And really appreciate you guys had uh, everything was solid and uh, made it easy to execute. So thanks, everyone. Yeah, thanks, Hopper. Appreciate it. Uh, you guys did a great job today. Thanks for being flexible. Uh, we got a ton of stuff done and uh, made uh, Station a, a much more capable place today. Thanks. Great work. Thanks, Farmer. Nice job. Hey, Hopper, if you guys uh, leave the door on time, you finish all the contents of EBA3. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Houston Station, uh, the P2 is 248, so no change. Uh, airlock Houston copies, you are go to continue. Beyond UB2, uh, check switch grub heaters OFF. UB1 OFF. UB2 OFF. Great. Uh, UB1, UB2, check gloves for contamination. UB1, no change on my gloves. P2, clean. Okay, there's a warning about the cough checkers. So obviously, it doesn't apply to us. Okay, next is action. UB1, UB2, auto actuator to IV. UB1, IV. UB2, IV. Great. Next is uh, we're gonna uh, IV hatch equalization valve moving to norm. EV members expect alert term. And uh, equalization valve is open slightly. How do you like the rate? EV one, good to go. EV two, good to go. And AB or AB2, if at any time you want to decrease the speed, uh, say up five. Otherwise, I want to slowly increase the speed of uh, request. Two. Two. Here on EV2, uh, we're going to slightly increase the rate. Here you
Coming up on 20 minutes since completion of today's spacewalk, which is the repressurization beginning of the crew log portion of the Quest airlock. Repressurization continues. EV2, we're going to increase the rate. EV1, two. Thank you. As repressurization continues in the crew log portion of the Quest airlock, another look back at all of the tasks completed today by our spacewalkers. The battery upgrades that began in January 2017 were completed today when a final lithium ion battery was secured to the International Space Station and a final adapter plate was installed completing that power circuit. Mike Hopkins also removed an H fixture and three cameras were installed as well. A CP3 camera, an HD camera that is, uh, on the starboard truss, the Japanese experiment module remote manipulator system camera, and a CP13 HD camera installed outside the US lab. The astronauts completed all of their major tasks today, allowing them the opportunity to move into their get ahead task, which included another H fixture removal, preparing the International Space Station for future power upgrades. And Victor Glover worked to configure an articulating portable foot restraint, or APFR, for a future spacewalk. He also removed and replaced an airlock magnet to help keep the thermal cover closed. Meanwhile, Mike Hopkins took photos of the International Space Station to document its current state. That brought today's spacewalk to five hours and 20 minutes.
Maybe on DB2, uh, how do you like uh, the rate? We are almost coming to a 600. Copy. DB1 is good. DB2 is good. I want to stay this rate. Airlock Houston, space to ground one for words on uh, the next procedure, 1.240. Yeah, 1.240, uh, go ahead. Okay, Suichi, we don't think uh, you're going to need step one. We will take care of step four, and you do not have to perform step five or six as well. Uh, step, uh, skip step one, and uh, you take four, five, and basically six as well. Okay. All right. we, we do. Okay, we don't have to do five, six. Cut. Another look back at today's numbers. This was the 234th spacewalk in support of station assembly, maintenance, and upgrades. And it was the second spacewalk of the year, but the third for Expedition 64, one having occurred out of the Poisk module and two out of the Quest module, as we saw today. It was the fourth spacewalk of Mike Hopkins' career, totaling 25 hours and 14 minutes in all, and the second for Victor Glover, who now has 12 hours and 16 minutes of spacewalking time.
Today's spacewalk lasted five hours and 20 minutes, and of all of the spacewalks conducted at the International Space Station, they had totaled 61 days, seven hours, and seven minutes of spacewalking time. Houston Station on one. Now the cool of PPD is almost zero, so if you guys concur, we're moving on to the one decimal two four zero post DVA. Airlock Houston, we are tracking and we concur. Copy. So we're uh, moving on to uh, out of the queue car and moving on to uh, post CBA. EV1, EV2, uh, we are now officially in the post EVA and uh, we will. So we'll uh, now uh, open the hatch for decals, so stand by for that. You want to hear the With repressurization complete, Jack's astronaut Soichi Noguchi prepares to open the hatch between the crew lock and the equipment lock portion of the Quest airlock. And copper we're traveling the uh, ETBCG. Yep, I think that's a good plan. NASA astronaut Kate Rubens now working to move Mike Hopkins, our EV-1 or extravehicular crew member one, into the equipment lock portion of the Quest airlock where she and Suichi Noguchi will help him doff his spacesuit.
82 Hopper, I want to take your safer from here. So uh, can you grab on to the 100? Yeah, that's good. Airlock Houston, space to ground one, crew, EV crew is no longer hot mic. Soichi Noguchi has removed Mike Hopkins' safer or simplified aid for EVA rescue. And as you saw, we didn't need that today, but always useful to have just in case. That would help the astronaut maneuver back to the International Space Station should they become detached for any reason. However, they are always using tethers to stay attached. with Hopkins back inside the equipment lock portion of the Quest airlock. Rubens and Noguchi will work to maneuver Glover back into the equipment lock portion as well. This is where they will help the spacewalkers doff their spacesuits after today's five hour and 20 minute spacewalk, starting at 6.56 a.m. Central Time and ending at 12.15 p.m. Central Time. 12.16 p.m. Central Time, that is.
The International Space Station is currently flying 262 statute miles to the over uh, the South Pacific Ocean to the west of French Polynesia. As you can see, both spacewalkers are now back inside the equipment lock portion of the Quest airlock. And NASA astronaut Victor Glover's safer or simplified aid for EVA rescue has been removed as well. You can see the workstation that allows for connections to tools and tethers has been removed from Victor Glover. The astronauts now preparing to doff their suits. Another look back at everything they accomplished today, completing all of their scheduled tasks and even several of their get ahead tasks. First, the spacewalkers completed the battery upgrades that began in January 2017 by driving a final bolt into a lithium ion battery and installing a final adapter plate to complete the power circuit. They also installed a bolt into a DCSU or direct current switching unit before Mike Hawkins moved to remove an H fixture. That prepares the International Space Station for future power upgrades. There were three cameras upgraded or replaced today. The first was a CP3HD camera at the starboard truss. There was also a camera replaced on the Japanese experiment module remote manipulator system and a CP13HD camera installed outside the US lab. That completed the main scheduled tasks for our spacewalkers and they moved into get ahead tasks beginning with another age fixture removal by Hopkins and APFR or articulating portable foot restraint configuration for a future spacewalk by Victor Glover. Glover also removed and replaced an airlock magnet to help the thermal cover stay closed and Hopkins took photos of the exterior of the station to document its current state. From the time the spacewalkers switched their suits to internal power at 6.56 a.m. Central Time this morning, it took them five hours and 20 minutes to complete the aforementioned tasks, concluding the spacewalk at 12.16 p.m. Central Time.
the installation of the battery completed today as well as the three cameras have all been reported to be in good configuration. Hopkins and Glover are now removing their spacewalk gloves, which can be very rigid to use in the, uh, during a spacewalk outside the International Space Station. So the suit is kept at a pressure of 4.3 PSI or pounds per square inch to make that flexibility a little bit easier. And Victor Glover is all smiles after having his helmet removed today, being his second spacewalk after completing his first just last Wednesday. So Ichi Noguchi and Kate Rubens working to remove the helmet from Mike Hopkins, today's lead spacewalker.
Now that both astronauts have their helmets removed, we are going to wrap up today's coverage. Thanks so much for tuning in to the Spacewalk Today, where Mike Hopkins and Victor Glover completed the final upgrades of the battery power system, as well as installed three new cameras. We are looking forward to two other EVAs or spacewalks in the future, and we hope you'll join us for those as well, so stay tuned for more information. But for today, that's it for us. This is Mission Control Houston.